wouldn't, I wouldn't say more comfortable. I think, I think throughout that week's practice, we just kind of uh, stress, you know, giving effort, and that's what I tried to do. And I think our whole defense did that, so that's why you saw, you know, good plays being made. How how good did that spin move feel? It felt good. I mean, I've that's not the first time I've done a spin, but it was it was cool to finally get a sack off a, off a spin. Move. Right. So. What'd you uh, say to uh, the Georgia? Spot. <laughs> Stealing it, oh, man. Yeah. No, it, it, Jordan's my friend. Jordan's my friend. We, we've we've hung out. You know, all the guys. And it, that's, that's not even that's not even an issue. You know, um, we're gonna coach more. You know, preaches compete. You know, don't worry about things you can't control. So I mean, whether whether I'm playing outside linebacker, Mike, safety, offensive lineman, I'm just gonna compete and do it to the best of my ability. I, I don't. I'm not even thinking about that. Jim said that the adjustment was easy because you played defensive end before. You got to see the ball off of your right shoulder. Is that a pretty fair assessment? Just because I played DM before? Right, and that's why you had to, you know, get I mean, it's a, it's a similar angle. I mean, I, Did that, it help, but, though? I mean, the thing is, being a linebacker helps for me compared to D-line because D-line, I'm, I'm in the same area, but my head's down, you know, so I'm seeing the guy in front of me. So, I mean... I mean, whether you're Mike or whether you're outside, you know, you, you see everything. So I just I just think it helps in general, you know, standing up. What changes in the technique, just from the outside position as opposed to the inside position? Uh, I think I think outside you got to be more conscious of holding an edge, um, you know, not losing contain. Um, you're definitely gonna pass rush more. Um, you know, Mike, it's kind of just you're kind of hunting. You, you don't really have a, a leverage. You just kind of are going and, and going to make tackles and making calls. So yeah, that's all the things. How nice is it to, I mean, as opposed to playing defensive line, not having to combat double teams and instead having the guy in front of you doing that and you can kind of get past him? It, it, it's yeah, nice. Cool. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know when I was a D lineman, it was, it was a, it was an unselfish play, right. I guess if you want to call that. So you know, but but I think I think what I like about our defense is we got guys that you know just want to do whatever it takes to win. So we're just gonna do our job. With these guys, I mean, these guys ahead of you in the three four, do you feel kind of? bad for them <laughs> they're just they're playing this uh man down in the uh three, four. I, I mean you know at the same time they're still they're still making plays and, yeah. and you know I, I think i think we got a good a good front line and and i think we're only we're only going to work hard to get better so it should be good. what changes for you when you move from middle to um kind of like i said before just i mean you're more edge conscious that's probably the biggest thing um I mean, Mike, you're making the calls, but I mean, even the outside linebacker, our, our guys make the calls. So I mean, it's not. That's probably the biggest thing, just holding the edge, pass rushing. How how big of an adjustment has it been making all the kind of defensive calls? Is that kind of a adjustment to start the year? Uh, no, not really. I mean, as long as you, as long as long as you study them, you can't just you can't just listen to meetings and then expect to be able to call them. You know, just <laughs> off the top of the dome. Hey, so, that guy's over there. Yeah. So I, I think just. Taking good notes, studying, I think, I think that makes it a lot easier. I think Cal's giving up the most sacks in the Pac-12. Is that something you guys are aware of? Is that something that you look forward to thinking that you might get to really rattle them in the pocket? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, we, we look at every, depending, it doesn't matter how many sacks the O-line gives up. You know, we're still going to try to get there. Just if they give up a lot, we're not going to say, like, oh, you know, we're going to get tons. Or if they don't give any, we're not going to say, oh, why even pass first? Cause, you know, so, I mean, we approach... Every O-line the same, we, we try to see you know, what we can do to take advantage.